What's going on everyone? So the Champions League draw was yesterday um, and I thought I'd do a video and let's just have a look at the groups that there are and discuss what's, what the matchups are going to be. So Group A, PSG, Real Madrid, Club Bruges, Galatasaray. I think outside of Club Bruges that's, that's a pretty open group between the other three teams. Obviously um, Neymar if he's still at PSG when these games go ahead, I'm very interested to see. I think it adds to the story of him going against Madrid because Madrid have been linked with him on numerous occasions. It looks like he might be going back to Barcelona anyway, but I just think it adds to the drama a bit more if he is playing. Um, I think Galatasaray will give Madrid and PSG tough games as well. Um, and who knows, Club Bruges might cause an upset as well. So I think that could be a very competitive group. Um, group B, Bayern Munich, Tottenham, Olympiakos and Kravina Zvezda. Um, same with Olympiakos. Um, I feel that they could give Bayern and Tottenham difficult games. I think they're struggles to for goals, Olympiakos, but I think that they're very tough to break down. Um, especially the away legs where they, those teams have got to go to Olympiakos. Um, and the atmosphere in them sta in their stadium will, will be a big uh, factor, I think. Um, I think Tottenham uh, are going to have to be at their best to get out of that group. Um, I mean, they're struggling in the league a little bit. So they're going to be looking to go on a good run in this, especially if their league form is not in intact. Um, group C, Manchester City, Shakhtar Donetsk, Dynamo Zagreb and Atalanta. I think this could be another tough group. Um, City should be going top no matter what, really, just because of the player and the squads, uh, the players and the squad that they've got. Um, but I could see them struggling again with teams like to break them down. But if we're being honest, they should run through this and and finish top of the group. Um, I'll be interested to see how Atalanta do. Uh, I've seen them in Serie A before. Um, throughout the years and they always seem to do reasonably well in that so I'll be interested to see how they match up um, Group D, Juventus, Atletico Madrid, Leverkusen and Lokomotiv Moscow uh, I'm interested in Juventus this year, um, they've got, from what I know, I think they've got a pretty old squad still um, obviously Ronaldo just seems to up his game every year Atletico, obviously they've had some big losses in terms of Griezmann going um, I think there's someone else left there as well. But obviously they got Trippier. Um, I think he's playing pretty well for them. But losing Griezmann was a big thing for me. I'm not sure if they've still got Diego Costa or not. But without Griezmann, I think that they're going to struggle a bit. But they're one of the best defensive teams that I've seen in the last five to six years. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they do. Um, they should probably still have enough to get through that group. Not sure how good Leverkusen are anymore, and Lokomotiv Moscow, I don't really see them challenging too much. Group E, we've got Liverpool, Napoli, Salzburg and Genk. Liverpool, other than Napoli, should breeze through that group. Uh, and they've beat Napoli before, so I see them running through that group, to be honest, finishing top. Barcelona, Group F, Barcelona, Borussia Dortmund, Inter Milan, Slavia Prague. It's a it's a top a uh, top up it's a chop up between Dortmund and Inter for second place for me in that group. I think it'll go to Inter, but I think the second place will go between Dortmund and Inter in that group. That could be an interesting group though because if Barcelona slip up, Dortmund or Inter could take the momentum of that and, and finish above them. So uh, Group G, Zenit, Saint Petersburg, Benfica, Lyon, and Leipzig. I'll be honest, I don't really follow any of these teams, so. I don't really know how to... I mean, that should be a very open group in, when I just look at it like this, but I don't know if there's any clear favourites in that group. Um, maybe Benfica, but that's just a guess. Um, so I'll be interested. I'll be watching that group pretty close, more so than some of the others, because I don't know a lot about the teams. Obviously, I've heard of them and seen them in the past, but that was years ago, so that'd be an interesting group to see. I think any of them could finish anywhere in that group. So, And then lastly, we've got Group H. Chelsea, Ajax, Valencia and Lille. I'm interested to see how Lille do because that's where Hazard come from and Pepe who just signed for Arsenal. Valencia as well. Um, 
Ajax, obviously, they've just lost De Ligt and Dijon, so I think they're going to struggle. But they've still got a lot of talent in that team. But they're very young as well, so they're still learning. So I think that they might struggle to get out of that group this year. Um, Chelsea definitely got the talent and the capability to get out of that group. But again, if they start slow, I could see the other teams taking advantage of that. And then it's, it's an uphill battle from like after game one or game two. Interesting groups. I think Tottenham have got a difficult group. Um, I think City and Liverpool got very good draws there. I think they'd be very happy with the teams they've got. Um, they definitely could have had harder matchups. But if again, if they underestimate the teams they have got, then an early slip up and it's uphill. So I think Group A looks very good. There's pretty strong teams in that. And Group F as well. And obviously Group G, which I mentioned, that I'll be keeping a close eye on because I think any of them teams could battle it out. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know who your team is and your your thoughts on how your team are going to do in this competition this year. And obviously I'll be watching the Europa game in terms of the Manchester United games, but I won't be watching any of the others because uh, it's, it's just it's Mickey Mouse, isn't it? But this is the... This is where the big boys want to play and hopefully United to get back there soon. But I can't see it right now. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Give this video a like, give it a thumbs up um, if you're a sports fan and a football fan. And I'll see you soon.